So you bought a Suron. It's the best purchase you've ever made. You've made some basic upgrades to it, right? You're loving the bike. You're riding it every single day. But obviously, you want to take it to the next level. You want the Fox 40s. You want the big brakes. You want all of the trendy mods that all of the cool Suron guys have. You're excited. You hop online. You go find the parts. It is uh, absurdly expensive to upgrade a Sauron. Unless it's not. Okay, this is it. This is a secret. You just buy a used mountain bike with all of the parts that you want, and then you put it on the Suron. But it's not quite that simple. Not every part is gonna fit on your Suron. Not all Fox 40s are gonna fit on your Suron. So in this video, I'm gonna cover every single thing I've learned, how much I spent on the bike, how I found a good deal, which parts fit and which parts don't. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna try to take it one step further, and I'm gonna try to sell everything that I don't use from this bike and see if I can upgrade my Suron with all of these cool parts for free, maybe, we'll see, I don't know yet. I got everything taken off the Fox 40s, some Avid code brakes, and then I'm also gonna use a direct mount stem. The rest of this stuff, I think I'm gonna sell. And I'm hoping that all of this can make up the amount that I initially spent. So to answer the big burning question, how much did all of this cost? I spent in grand total $1,000. $1,000 is just like a ton of money. But when you consider that a used pair of Fox 40s go for over $1,000 right now, the fork alone makes this entire thing worth it. Also, the previous owner of all of these parts gave me the stock fork that came on the bike as well. Not only that, the owner also gave me a complete 2002 Kona Stinky. I don't know why, but the Kona Stinky was always my dream bike as a kid. That bike, I'm keeping. I'm not selling it. That bike is priceless. I'm gonna list this all on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist and see how much money I can make back, and I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. But first, let's get the forks and the brakes and the brand new stem on the Suron. Okay, low gang, the parts are on the bike. I think it looks sick. Unfortunately, you can't just kind of go out and buy any mountain bike. There are just a couple specific things you gotta look out for. Okay, first I wanna talk about brakes, okay? You're looking for four piston brakes. A lot of bikes, especially older downhill bikes, have two piston brakes. Those probably aren't actually gonna be an upgrade over your stock Suron brakes. Uh, basically, any direct mount stem is gonna work. You probably don't need to worry about it. The only thing to look out for is a lot of mountain bikes have a zero rise stem, so it actually hangs down the front a little bit. I have a couple spacers from Emoto Bros just to help out with that and raise the bars up a little bit. But if you can, try to find one with like a little bit of rise, so at least it's completely flat on the bottom. I hope that makes sense. Okay, last but not least, Fox 40s. If you're looking for a used bike uh, with Fox 40s on them, look for one with 26 inch float 40s. The 26 inch version versus the 27.5, they're basically the same. The 26s will just be cheaper. Also, you're gonna want a float 40, which is the air sprung version. Even if you're a super light rider, you're probably gonna bottom out the coil ones. The float 40s, you can just pump more air into them. Also, they're lighter and a little bit easier to find parts for. If you get a Fox 40 from after 2021, you're gonna need a five millimeter spacer. And also you're gonna need a drop crown up top from Reese Racing. I brought you in for a close up on this part because it's the most important part. The head tube on a Suron is longer than basically any modern mountain bike's head tube. So you need to make sure the steerer tube, the thing that's, 
you know, in here. That needs to be 170 millimeters or longer. Now that we've covered all that and you have all the information you'll ever need, I think it's time to do the fun part and go take this stuff for a test ride. Let's do it, baby. I'm no! Oh, the bridge is going up. Let's see how these Fox 40s do. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> should probably not be here alone. The boys are all here. What's up, guys? How's it going? Logan? Good to see you. Yeah. How are you? Hey. How often do people call you Logan Paul? <laughs> I like motorcycles. Thanks, man. I got them all dirty at the colonnade just now, but dude, that's beefy. You have uh, already put a good dent in it. It seems nice. Logan. How's it going? Good to see you. I made it. Ruben said he's not making it tonight. He just said he'd be here in 20 minutes. He did? I don't know what's going on. He said 7:47 one minute ago. He said not making it. Not making it. That's what he said. Let's go. All right. It's a float, but it's an older one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Clean, man. Looks good. Thank you, man. Video right now where I just break down an old mountain bike, see how cheaply I can get a Fox 40, basically. Nice. Bike was a thousand. I sold like 500 so far. So about 500 bucks into the floor. Not bad. Come on, dude. Ah! Holy shit. Okay, everything has sold on Facebook Marketplace. Here's what we made back. Seat and dropper post, $100. Frame, bottom bracket, and derailleur, because I was too lazy to take it apart. That sold for $350. Wheels and tires, $100. And lastly, the fork. 200 bucks. That brings us to a grand total of $750. I am sorry I didn't do this for free, but 250 bucks for Fox 40s, big brakes, and like bars and a stem, that is a lot cheaper than like $2,000. It's actually eight times cheaper. I did the math. If you are going to build your Suron in this way, set every single Facebook Marketplace notification that you possibly can. Things like Fox 40, downhill mountain bike, downhill fork, just anything you can think of. The secret that I've found to getting a good deal on Facebook Marketplace is just to be the first person to message them and be the first person to actually show up with money. I hope this video saves you some money. Big video next week. I'll see you then, Lil Gang.